So I'd imagine if he's storing away, that'll be next. We've got the army coming down here. Uh, we've got an army there. We've got another fleet right there. Um, where's that general guy? I'm sure I had an army down here somewhere. Uh, maybe they disbanded because they didn't have enough money, possibly. No, it's over here. Just found it. So we're going to come around here. And there must be another city on here. So we've got a troop. We've got an army right there. They're going to come around. They're just heavy pike militia and spear militia. And we've got the full army right there. That's the that's the main force right there. They're gonna land here probably. Capture whatever's there. Mall is pretty well defended. Probably too well defended for the actual location. Uh, Norway's pretty much out of the equation now. Could probably start moving a lot of these troops down south to be honest. I can't really see Norway, uh, once we take out that city there, I can't really see Norway doing much to counterattack us. Uh, they will, if you leave Norway long enough, they will actually start uh, landing armies on the mainland. So that is Stornoway right there, that was correct. So we will attack Stornoway with what we have. Get. There's nothing on that island right there. So we were going to amalgamate that army with that fleet and then hopefully capture Stornoway, that's almost a certain team and Stornoway has Haldor of Vicus. So basically my general right there, he could beat him plus we have all the army so it's going to be a certain team will take Stornoway and then once we've done that what else do we need? So we control 15 regions we need to control 25. We've captured everything except Castletown. So the plan should be work our way down south, uh, start taking some of these cities and then capture Castletown. I could capture more towns over here, that's Ireland. There's a bit more, Ireland's quite a good faction. They're, I think they have good skirmishers, uh, good spearmen. But anyway, I think we're going to end the turn right now. Edinburgh, they're not too happy actually in Edinburgh. Should we really build something? We'll build them a, a brothel. Um, I'm going to have to end turn as well. So the, cam the campaign is going pretty well so far. After a successful Edward crusade returns. in the Holy Land, Edward returns home a hero. Battle hardened and with Templar forces in tow, the English people rejoice, believing Edward can only lead them to further victories, as he now turns his attention to conflict closer to home. So that's probably bad news for us, to be honest. I mean, England are having issues with the barons. The barons are revolting. Edward returning from the Crusades, he has pretty much a badass Crusader army that will be shaved up pretty powerful. So we're going to have to be quite careful how we take on England. Uh, we don't have the troops England gets. We've got pikemen, we get some militia pikemen, we've got light cavalry, but we don't have the, the knights England gets and the heavy cavalry. Uh, we can build them, but it just takes a lot longer for Scotland. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take over this uh, siege. So I'm not going to bother fighting it. We lost six men for enough. Occupy settlement. And that's the last of the settlements up north that Norway has. So Norway only has the the, go the castle town left. Yeah, but obviously you can see there, castle town is pretty well defended. We've still got William Wallace. We're going to leave a good amount of troops in Stornoway, I think. Um, okay, we'll repair some of the stuff here. Repair. 
never appeared sky did we so appear sky did we appear mall can't remember so we're definitely going to take i might even okay this guy is going to be in charge of storm away this guy i'm going to go back on the ship We're gonna leave the peasant archers, some peasants, and some pike. And um, that should hopefully I don't want them to revolt. Um should I possibly more more men here, maybe? Okay, we'll give them some more men. That'll hopefully quell any rebellion. We've got the fleet here. Probably the best place for them is I mean, I can already see a uh, town right here. It is a rebel town. We've got our diplomat as well. We need to make contact with the the English rebels. We'll send them down south. So we are going to end this turn. Obviously, we've got William Wallace and Sky. He'll be coming out. He'll probably leave some troops here, actually. Can't build anything just yet. We'll build some pike. Uh, we'll end the turn here. So, the campaign's going really well. Writing, storing away. So these people are not too happy. We need to build some good things now. They're not happy because the bulk of the population is Norwegian. So we're going to build them a... Build them a inn. But we're going to have to leave a large garrison on Stornoway because... There's a good possibility they're going to revolt. He's better. Okay, we're gonna leave Gordon Boyd in Stornoway, and because he's so loyal, that will quell any rebellion. And you can see, there's already made a big difference to the, the population. And we're gonna keep the ship there for one more time. Uh, they should be okay now, Stornoway, uh, but if they revolt, it's a bit of a pain in the ass trying to help them again. Get the fleet here. Move the fleet over here. Keep some Helen Rabble here. Put them on the ship. So we're going to leave a couple of Helen Rabble and the Pike Men in Sky. I don't want anything to happen to William Wallace. The Norwegian fleet is fairly powerful still. I'm just going to land these guys. Who's the best place to land them? So there's a road right there. We're gonna land these guys right here. So that's William Wallace right there. I don't want him to be lost at sea. It's too important a character. So we're gonna get him on land right there and then march him down. Sky is fairly fairly well defended now. Another peasant archer. Don't think they're gonna attack again. Fairly safe, and that's storing away okay now. So we're gonna end the turn again. We've done all that we can. We need to try and make contact with the English rebels. So let's accept this guy. So we've awarded a thousand florins. Uh, done pretty well capturing new settlements, marriage celebrations. So those two people got married right there. Um, it's good to have extra uh, princes, princesses. If you don't have enough characters, effectively your nation dies. So we're going to put these guys, keep them marching them down. 
bench, this guy will be fighting English. That will be the next part of the campaign. And that's Stornoway, pretty secure. I can't really see anything happen to Stornoway. Um, a large percentage of the population is Norwegian. We're going to build the inn. I think we'll build the church as well. And that should be them safe. I don't think there's any large armies around about here for Stornoway. So we're going to combine fleets. The army's fairly, fairly okay. Uh, again, I think we're probably just going to sail down for a little bit. It's going to be a long boat. could probably build some more things now. I've got some extra cash. Um, Inverness. Can move some more troops down south. So I'll keep on a garrison in Cork in Kirkwall. He is freaking amazing. I don't know where he came from, but he's a six star general. He'll be getting moved down south. Right. Give him some Highlanders. Move him down south. So I don't know where the hell he came from, but he's like a, an amazing general, like six stars already. He's only 18. Uh, I need to find. So Andrew Fennis, he's the other good guy. He's like five star. He's on Kirkwall. Okay, Kirkwall needs some more things. Don't have enough money to build anything. Build a gunsmith, what's this? Fashion and barrel of wrought iron bars that can hold its shape properly requires a position on the level that standard smiths are simply not equipped to deal with. So they're probably quite expensive right now. I don't really feel so much point building that up in, a, up in the Kirkwall. So I think we're going to end the turn here. got a new mission here so again we're trying to find the Barons Alliance so that's over there get him to come over here that's a Norwegian merchant so we're gonna land the troops here he is gonna come over here that dude is going to come down here as well. So we're going to have two really powerful armies. I probably don't need all these troops on Mo anymore. Isla is pretty... They're pretty happy in Isla. Probably take some more men out of Inverness. Take these guys out put them into that army. March these guys south to Inverlochley. So that's a faction leader. We're going to move him, I think, down south. He can go to Perth, possibly. Put him to Inverness. And again, Kirkwall, I'm keeping extra troops in Kirkwall just in case uh, Norway decides to attack. Because that was their capital. They might be pre-programmed to come back to Kirkwall and start attacking again. 